This is me, 12 years old, joining my first rugby club in Australia. And this is me now. I'm a reporter and a cameraman, so I'm used to telling stories, but I've never told one this personal. Poofter, faggot. The bullying was unrelenting, especially in sports class. So I never imagined that a rugby club would one day change my life. Nerves. I found that I had these really great players who had a real lack of self-belief. I can be a really confident gay person, but on the sports pitch, that doesn't belong to me. There's this element of being a rugby player, even as a gay rugby player, that there's a certain masculinity that you need to maintain. To me, that's bollocks. You know, I will be tough and brutal and kick your ass on the pitch. When I'm off the pitch, I will be as flagrant and as flamboyant as I want. <laughs> I'd never had depression before, but I was definitely at that. You know, like, I was at the lowest of the low. And just when I was about to walk away from rugby, but something told me, no, rugby can still help you, then the club and this season saved my life, probably saved my life, you know. The referee often doesn't recognise me. So I feel like I'm still needed to be validated by men. That is all I want from you for 40 minutes. You absolutely have it in you. You get more in that time. So for me, this isn't a coming out story or a story about winning a tournament or even about being gay. It's a story about searching for where you belong and never giving up because you just might find happiness where you least expect. Yeah.